Hey guys and welcome to another Element video tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the MIDI program changes on plugin nodes. So I got two RoboVerb instances here and let's jump right into it. So over here in the MIDI panel under MIDI program what you want to do to use programs is first turn it on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for both instances. And I'll just say real quick what these different buttons do. The first one is use global MIDI programs. And what that is, is if turned on, the saved programs will used, be used by every instance of that plugin type. And it also applies to different sessions as well. And when it's turned off, like it is now, it'll save the programs to the session for that individual node only. The next button is a delete button that will delete the program if it was already saved to disk. This is the reload button. This will load the program and then the next one is the save button which will take the current state of the plugin and save it to the plug or program number listed right here let's see what this does all right i'm on midi program one roboverb one i'm going to go ahead and save that so now i'm going to go to midi program two flip all the switches off And I'm going to save that one. So now we can demonstrate how this works a little bit. I'll go back to program one. This will load it. Program two, load it. It's pretty straightforward. So now what I'm going to do with these same programs, make sure it's actually loaded, <coughs> is I'm going to turn on the global function. So now I'm going to resave. Actually, there we go. Resave the second one. Now I'm going to go over here to the second RoboVerb and make sure that its global function is also on. Oh, we need a MIDI input real quick. Let's just get that connected in. So in, with the virtual keyboard, I'm going to send MIDI programs to both of these instances. And since they both have global checked on, you'll see what happens. So both instances respond the same. So that may seem useless, but you can, if you start using the MIDI channels here, you can define what each instance does differently. Or the easier thing is just to not use the global function. And then the program saved for the plugin is unique to the node that it was saved to. So the global function is useful mostly for sharing programs between sessions and definitely when you're using the MIDI channel filter. It's really up to you guys how, however you want to use it. That's uh, the gist of how all this works. Uh, if you have any questions about it, leave a comment below or hit us up in support. Thanks for watching and peace out.